Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. How is everybody today? Happy, happy, happy Wednesday. I'm alive and well on the train to hell where there's a place for everybody. Oh shit. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi would be good. What's cracking, Big T? What's crack a lacking? I'm just hanging out because um um nothing's cracking. Just hanging out. Got a little nap today. Getting um, getting set up. Dan's being a baby. So he pissed me off. You know, normal shit. Normal shenanigans. Hey, 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 hey. What's going on? Happy Wednesday to everybody. How are you guys doing? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I gotta watch how I sit in here. Hi, guys. Hi, Angel. Hey, Mary. What's going on? Hey, hey, hey. So, just to give you a little precursor, Ed didn't eat dinner, he had a salad, so he gets no dessert. So, I don't wanna hear shit from anybody. Look at Marianne, I got the Texas shirt on from my friend. Hi Kevin, hi Purple Jack. So I just want y'all to know, he doesn't get dessert until he finishes dinner. So you're gonna hear it. So, like it, love it, or don't, but uh, my rule's my house. <laughs> Anyhow, hi Lynn. Um, I did, fat boy. I went and took a nap. I took a nap. I was tired. Have a little bit of a virus. So, um, I I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Don't old people eat prunes for dessert? No. I don't know. Prunes you eat when you're got to poop. Um, I'm back. Uh, so yeah. Anywho, about that. Hey man, what's it? Finally alive. I am alive. I've been alive. I don't know if Dan's coming. He was having a he's having a little bit of a um, a moment. Yes, like he's almost on like his menopause, you know, menstruation, menstruation. He's on menstruation. Um. Anyway, Grandpa's finishing his salad. He put his des his dinner away, so no dessert until he finishes. Moody. He's moody and he pissed me off. He had a little bit of sass and he comes at me. So he has menopause. Mm -hmm. He's in menopause, but he's on his menopause. No, menstruation. Um, so I decided to come on because I promised y'all. Be you hear that alarm? That's Andrew's alarm. It scared the shit out of me. I thought, what did Ed do? Um, so anyhow, welcome, I'm back. I'm back, I took a nap, I feel great, and I'm hoping my son tends to a little warm off. He's been snoozing. He's burnt. Um, yes, he's on menopause, but he's in his meno his menstruation. Yeah. So he got really, I know, you hear it? I mean, how do you sleep through that? Anybody? Yeah, Grandpa. Grandpa's on the loose. Sound the alarms. Uh, hi, Lorna. I'm getting tan. We were outside a lot. This is this is great hair, right? Um, this is a woke up. I know. Is Andrew deaf? I'm thinking so. I'm thinking that Salinger. Um, oh, thank God. Oh, maybe the hearing loss is already kicking in. Um, Dan can't hear it. Grandpa. Grandpa's in there. My friends left today. They were both on their flights home. And they will get there hopefully safe and sound. Um, let's go to the casino. I am always want to go to the casino. Um, anyhow, what'd you say, Kelsey? What'd you say? How am I? What'd you say? I missed it. Um, are you trying to be funny? It's a boy thing. I know. It's amazing he wakes up every day. So I heard some rustling after my nap and I got up and... Grandpa's, give me a minute. It's hard to do this shit when he's looking for dessert. Ed! Ed! You didn't finish your dinner. You didn't finish your dinner. When you're done with your dinner. When you're done with your dinner, you can have dessert. I'm through with my dinner. You just had a salad. That's all you had. So when you're. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
You, when you're done with your dinner, you can. Don't I have a salad? Yes. Well, it's a good salad, I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, when you're done, when you're ready to eat the rest of it, I'll give it to you. Well, well I'll have dessert then. No, you can't have dessert until you finish your dinner. Oh, what do I got to eat now? Your dinner. I did. No, you had salad. All you had was salad. I had other stuff there too, didn't I? Just the salad. That was all salad? All salad. Wow. Yeah. That was a good salad, I'll tell you that. Yeah. What are you that doing? Me. That's you. <laughs> Upside, inside out. I want to look her inside out. <laughs> inside out. There you are, right there. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so when you're done with dinner, you can have your dessert. I'm ready for dinner. Are you ready? I need dessert. Well, you can't eat dessert until you finish your dinner. I did. No, you just had your salad. What? You just ate your salad. Where's your rest of it then? Yeah, I put, you put it in the microwave. I did? Yes. I thought I ate all my stuff. No. Nope. I thought I did. No. Nope. Hey, where's the open? Is it? Oh my god, that's mine too? That's yours. All yeah. you had was salad. You're not kidding. I didn't realize I even had it in there. I know. I don't know if I can eat all that. Eat what you can. I can't. Okay, well then wait for a little bit. Sit down on the couch, wait for a little bit, and then when you're ready, you can eat it. <laughs> I didn't know it was in there. Mm -hmm. So just go relax for a little bit. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I'll go watch the TV. All right. See what's going on. Yeah. Oh boy, that, that's quite a nice dinner there. Yeah. A lot nicer than what I had. Which was basically a salad. You had a salad. Yeah, I'll watch the news for a while. All right. You know. All right. I'll sit down. Anybody else who wants to eat breakfast? I mean, dinner? Not yet. Nope. Who's coming? Anybody? Nope. Just us. Where's John Josh? Josh is with his family. Where's that? In um, Shingle Springs. Shingle Springs? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not too far from here. 45 minutes. Is that far? Mm -hmm. Who's his family? His wife and his kids. He's got three kids and a wife. Oh, I didn't really get that many kids. Mm -hmm. Three. Are they all his kids? All his kids. There are a few more challengers in this yeah. world then. Yeah. What does his wife do? She makes all the money. She makes all the she money? She makes all of the money. What does she do? She's in management, making a lot of money. <laughs> Well, that's she did. I'm glad someone makes money there. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you for dinner, too. It's, it's good. And I'll eat my other stuff soon as it's ready. Yeah. It's a very good dinner. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll watch TV news right. for a while now. All right. Oh. Well, I'm going to. Did you know we had one sleeper? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Um, Andrew's on the couch. And it was really funny because. Hi, Christine. Um, and so Andrew covers his face because I don't really have dessert, Kelsey. I don't know what I'm getting. Um, all those, those people ate all my dessert. You know, those guests that I had, they just took everything. They drank all my coffee. That one, Dan calls her the tatted one. They drank everything. Ate everything. Those girls have sweet tooth. Um, they didn't save anything for Grandpa. Just kidding. Jokes, y'all. It was a spoof. A spoof. <laughs> they did. They left. Um, why? I, I just still can't get over it. The comments that are coming through. And the comments that are on my video today. On YouTube and TikTok. With Debbie talking to Ed. One of them says, oh my God, she's so disrespectful. And the other one said... Danielle, you should take notes. <laughs> she does such a better job than you do talking to Grandpa. What's wrong with people? Don't get me started on the society we live in today. Um, Debbie and Ed, I thought, was... No, it wasn't upstairs. He's on the couch. He's, he's so burned from yesterday um, that he's just pooped. Between his poison ivy and the burn. I know, people are so rude. Like, I cannot... Um, I cannot... I don't understand like where people and how people think and why they think it's okay to talk to people like that. Be respectful, right? Um, 
anyhow, uh, they, <laughs> okay, sexy granny, ooh, sexy granny. Um, Dan's having, he's in his menstruation moment right now. He was having a little tizzy, uh -huh. and then I got mad at the tizzy, so he, I yelled at him, he yelled at me, and well, he went and slammed the door like a two-year-old. He said, well, <laughs> I'm not doing a lie then. And I said, well, don't, I'll do it. <laughs> he needs a tampon, yes. So, um, yeah, I'm not afraid to do lives by myself. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, he won't start it. He did. He slammed the door. Slammed the door. Well, <laughs> I'm not doing a live. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> so then, so then I literally, um, I just put both and I said, fine, I'll do both on my own. Big deal. Um, so Amber had the blanket or the pillow right above his nose. And Grandpa kept getting up and moving it away from his face because he thought um, he was afraid he couldn't breathe. And he did it like five times. And I was like, Grandpa! <laughs> oh, it's just you and me. It's, we'll have our own party. We don't need Dan. With age gap, he's 25 years older than me. Um, Dan is. It's B-Wills. Um, 25 years older than me. Yeah, so that would put Dan at uh, 75, 75. He's 80. Uh -huh. Dan's 80, and I'm 25. Actually, that would be a lot longer. Um, we are still doing TikTok lives. I'm on one actually right now, Jackie. Um, uh, Chad, ooh, big words. Chad said, Grandpa can't breathe with the camera in his face all day. Um, Chad, let me give you a little FYI. Fact check before you um, spew your lies behind your little keyboard. Um, and just know that, um, how, can you, how can the camera be in his face all day, bruh? When um, we don't have them every day, bruh. And um, Dan's at work uh, some days, bruh. And, um, well, I'm petering around in the yard and take care of the house, bruh. Um, bruh. <laughs> Poor old Dan. So he's, um, apparently he's bleeding and he can't stop right now. Um, so, yes, P uh, my doll. Um, what's the one? Pampering. Is that even around still? Um, pampering? Pampering? Is there pampering around here? Um, Cotex. You remember how back in the day when we used to have kids, well, we still have kids today, but remember back in the day when we had those like elephant pads with the little garter belts? We need to get him one of those because, you know, he's got a lot of shit releasing right now. I don't know. Um, he needs a Xanax. He does. Pampering, yes. Large menstrual cup. Oh, we can, oh, oh. You mean like the diaphragms? Can I say that on here? Mm -hmm. Remember that shit? They're all, um, you, you, I mean, I remember after my first kid, I was like, what's this? What do I do with it? <laughs> and those underwear, those under, those, what were those? Like fishnet stockings, fishnet boy shorts with the pad you put in it. And you're like, what? Oh, this is cute. <laughs> with the belly. Um, anyhow, I don't know, elephant pads, shit. Um, Dan doesn't need any of those. Dan doesn't get any of that stuff, me, yes, because he was an ass. Yeah, meh. <laughs> New on the Salinger website, men's menstruation cups. Brought to you by uh, Dan Salinger. Um, yeah, PTSD. Are you, PTSD. Off my plate? Um, are you ready? Thank you. Are you, bro? I'm just get up there. Bro. Put in the you're water. you're not done with dinner. Bye, Your dinner's still waiting to be eaten. Wait a minute, honey. What what was you say? Ooh, pictures, Christine. Your dinner's still waiting to be eaten. You haven't eaten dinner yet. Oh, I haven't? Mm -mm. How come? Because, I don't know. You decided you didn't want it yet. You wanted to wait. Oh, have you eaten dinner yet? I've already ate. Has everybody else eaten dinner? Everybody else ate. You just didn't feel like Where eating Where is the it. dinner at? In the microwave. But it hasn't been... You haven't eaten it. Pardon me? You haven't eaten it. What did I eat? I just ate... You just had salad. Oh, salad. Just That's a all. salad. So okay. when you're ready to eat, I'll give you your dinner. Pardon me? When you're ready to eat, I will give you your dinner. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had quite a bit to eat already, haven't I? No, nope, just a little salad. It's a good salad. I know. Ready? Thank you, Danielle. Who else is going to eat? Dinner? We all ate already. You're just the only one left to eat. They all got some little, uh, what do you call it? What? That's Danielle. Mm -hmm. My phone, people are talking to me right now. You see, everybody says, hi, Ed. 
Wow, it goes fast. I can't read them all. They're saying, hi, Ed. Pardon me? They're saying, hi, Grandpa. Hi, Dr. Salinger. Yeah, I see the names. Yeah, a couple. Hey, Dr. Yeah. Look at all that. Yeah, you see my name came up? Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Salinger. Mm hmm Look, you got a hat on. Yeah. Gosh, how come I got my name on there a hundred times? Because all these people know you. What? All these people are talking to you. They're talking uh -huh. to me? They're my friends. And so how come I didn't talk back to them? Because it's just a, a phone. It's what? It's just a phone. So only I can talk. They can hear you and me, but they have to write it. Oh, That's yeah. why they're all saying, hi, yeah. Ed. Hello, Ed. Yeah, yeah. I see. Look, we love you. Oh, my gosh. Hello, Ed. Hi, Doc. Hello, Ed. Yeah, down there a lot. Yeah. There you go. Oh my God. <laughs> I better get away from the phone. <laughs> Why? They like seeing you. Oh, can they see me on there? Yeah, they can see you. You can make a face. You can you can wiggle your face. They can see it all. They're watching like you. Like that. Oh, yeah. I got my face. That's there, what yeah. they see you. Oh yeah, my name's on there a lot. Yeah. A Hi, lot. Ed. Yeah, I see. Hi, Grandpa. Yeah. Well. They, they said you're cute. They what? They said you're cute. Well, not everybody can see straight. <laughs> no, right? they, they say you're a very handsome man. I hope so. Hey, Ed, yeah. Well, I like most of the people that your folks have been with and you. Yeah. You've been to good people. Yeah. They enjoy seeing you. They think you're good looking. Do you, you want a girlfriend? Somebody asked if, they wanted, to, if you wanted a girlfriend. No, no. No girlfriend? What? You don't want a girlfriend? No, you don't I, want a five foot seven blue eyed blonde? <laughs> Holy mackerel, did you see that? Yeah, look at how they're all talking. How old do you think you are? I know how old I how am. How old? I'm uh, born 1932. Mm -hmm. How old does that make you? What's this, 20? 20? 2023. 2023? Well, wait a minute. We went through. Uh, 2022 was another... You're, you're 91. Yeah. Can you believe it? Yeah, that, that I'm somewhere around there. If, yeah. If you go by my first birthday. 19, uh, 1932. March 26, 1932. That is correct. Mm -hmm. You remember it? Mm -hmm. It must be on there. Then. No, I remember. Why would anybody remember me? I don't know. Because we show them to you. We show the world you. Every day you're here with us, we show you to the world, and they love you. Oh, I hope that, that's different. <laughs> they love watching you. They think you're handsome, and they think you're funny. So they, I, I can be funny, but the other one, I think, is probably an exaggeration. The handsome? You're, uh, ha they're, you're handsome. I'm in town. You're handsome. Oh, that's not nice. That's a... Uh, <laughs> Far talk. Twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. Huh? Twenty years ago. Yeah. People like older men. People like older men. Okay. <laughs> How old am I? Ninety-one. When was I born? Nineteen thirty-two. Yeah, March twenty-sixth. That's correct. Yeah. Nineteen thirty-two. You're ninety-one and a half. I am. Mm -hmm. Wow. How old do you feel? 47. 47? I'm 49. You're older than me. I'm older than you. Oh, I didn't talk to your folks. <laughs> your, Where are I, your folks? I'm full. I'm old. They're both past. You what? They're dead. Both of them? Both oh, of them. That's too bad. Yeah. Do you have any brothers or sisters still uh -huh. alive? My brothers are young. Who are they? They're in their 30s. They're young. Their younger brother? Yep. Look. Oh, I can't read all that. 47. Yeah. Is this you? These are all my friends. Who is that with all those numbers on there? Her name was Rain. I love you. I say Rain. Hi, Ed. You see that? We love you. Well, some people like me. Hi, Dr. Salinger. Yeah. Hi, Dr. Salinger. That's interesting. There are some some people that like me. They don't know any better. But they don't. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I think I want some news. All right. Let me know when you're hungry. Huh? Let me know when you're hungry. Oh, I just ate my dinner. You just I? had salad. Oh, then I'll eat the rest of it now. Are you ready for the rest of it? Yeah. All right. Well, as sit, much, sit down. As, much, as much ready as I'll ever be. All right. Well, go sit down. I don't okay. know what you did okay. with your... <laughs> Eat what you can. I need a fork. Yeah. And no, I can't eat all. Just this. eat what you can. You haven't eaten your dinner yet. You want to wait? You can wait longer to eat it. What? Do you want to wait a little bit longer? No, I don't think it will make any difference. What can I say to give to somebody else? No, no. It's yours. You're gonna be hungry. So if you're not hungry right now, I'll put no. it away for you for later. No, come on. You got other stuff. You gotta. You have to heat up all this. No, now. that's cold. It's coleslaw and pasta salad. Pardon me? It's cold. These are supposed to be cold. The, the, the That's coleslaw. Yeah. That's coleslaw. And this is pasta salad. This is a cold pasta salad. It's a salad. It's cold, though. Yes, it's supposed to be. That pasta is supposed to be cold. It's not spaghetti. It's a, a cold pasta salad. So what do I do? You eat it. What about my sandwich? You eat it. When it's hot. It was just hot 15 minutes ago. Oh. You got talking and uh, you got uh, you got talking. I can heat it up again. Not yet, not yet. Uh, when you're ready to eat it, I'll heat it up because the other stuff doesn't get heated up. What'd you do with your cup? I do because it's gonna be cold. What'd you do with your cup? You dumped it out. Er. I know, it's supposed to be cold. Those are cold salads. This is the only thing that should be hot. Oh, people are saying. People are saying I'm being rude. Well, they're clueless, ignoramuses, because you gotta yell in order for him to hear. Um, so, yeah, the negative people need to go. Um, you have to be loud. And if you saw my husband's, here's the thing. Um, if you saw my husband's video the other day, my two friends that were here. Came, uh, my three friends that were here actually came in thinking that they were speaking loud until they realized that they were not um, loud enough, right? Uh, They're using his money. Oh, no name, you're so smart. Yes, we are using his money. How did you know that? No name, how did you know that? Um, uh, yeah, he has, uh, has um, yeah, hearing problems. Um, and so if you actually saw them talk the other day um, on a video two days ago, they said that one of the biggest things they didn't realize is how loud you have to really be. Um, is my brother here, Daniel? No. How loud you have I'm to really worried. be. Because you think you're loud, but what? you're not loud enough. Um, so, oh, thank you, Sophie. Dan's, it, he's dealing with his, um, it, uh, his menopause. Uh, his man, menstruation. He's a little grumpy. Um, so you guys need to realize that. Those were spoofs, but what they were really honest about was the difference, like how loud Dan was and um, how loud you have to be. And my friend Christine um, was on here um, and she was like, we were all laughing. The girls were laughing at Christine because she's like, eh, Mr. Salinger, Dr. Salinger. And they're like, Christine, louder, he can't hear you. She's like, I'm screaming. No, you're not, girl. And he said, pardon me. <laughs> um, 
A lot of us care, weird as not. My mother in law has the same problem. We are allowed not. But yeah, I mean, and people are just ignorant in the whole arena of hearing loss. Um, and no, I knew Megan was joking. I mean, I knew she probably missed taught. What's wrong with Dan? Who knows? He had a bug up his ass. Um, yeah, he, he, he can't hear y'all. I mean, he, he can't hear. So, um, and somebody said on the video that I, um, you can have a nice loud tone. Rita, how the, are you going to have a nice loud tone? I mean, Rita, Rita, girl, please. Um, Dan's bleeding. Yes. He is. Dan's bleeding from his uh, undercarriage area mm -hmm. um, because, you know, he's having a little bit of grumpiness and laugh. I don't know what happened, but it just happened. And I was uh, no, thank up. you for breakfast for uh, dinner. You're very welcome. Good. Yeah. Um, very, very good. You're welcome. Um, so he didn't like it, and I wasn't putting up with it. So he slammed the door and said he wasn't participating in the live. And I said, well, bye. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Um, hi, Tim. What the hell, bro? What's that? Turtle is wounded. The turtle is sad and decrepit and, you know, kind of like how our rosebuds are a little sad during those times of the month. His is going through it, too. Um, he doesn't get a hug. Uh-uh. He doesn't deserve a hug when he's a little cranky pinky. Um, and, uh, you know, that's it. Um... Yeah, by Felicia. I don't know if he's, well, I hope he's reading it. So maybe he'll get out of his ass whipping and come out here and stop pouting like a three-year-old child. Hey, Bomb Barbie, what's up? Bona nuita pra bazilla. No hugs. He gets no hugs. He gets no kissing or loving. Because mm -mm, that's not how you get loving and kissing. You don't slam a door and walk away from your life and say, laugh and say, the hell, I ain't doing a laugh. Okay. Um, he goes, I can't say that guy was but pretty much, um, Dan, grandpa was just, you guys actually just missed him. He was, he was on a roll. He was talking really, um, great. Um, Monica, thank you. People are just clueless because they don't realize that with grandpa, like sometimes, you know, he can hear and it was really funny today. Hey, Danielle. Welcome, Danielle. Um, I, yeah, I took, what the fuck? Oh, Dan's walking. Maybe he's coming. Why is he walking on the side of my house? <laughs> Guys, alert. Alert. Hey, Christian. He's being a schmuck. That's right. We can say that, right? Um, maybe <laughs> one way ticket to the pig house. Fuck the dog house. That's a nice one. My dogs are privileged. They sleep on the couches. Um, Dan's moving out. Uh -huh. The, the U-Haul is here. I called it on the way in, so they're on their way back. Um, they do have PMS, but he's actually menstruation. He's menstruating right now, I think. It came on quick. Nobody knew. It just sideswapped us. Like, And I'm out of products for him. I don't have the right things. I want my um, brother is. Mom Bear, I have you two you know, down here. I have you two. My brother Bill is. I don't. Now, we're going we're gonna to play a little... Um, we're going to play a little game right here. Of how long I don't know why um, we're gonna play a little game here is she bothered by Michelle she gets bothered by the heat she does. so I give her um, I give her some ice cubes or some something uh, I know I tried to block it um, so keys are next so we're gonna we're gonna play he's gonna keep up bringing Bill and then we might yeah Coco's barking because Dan's walking is he on the phone he looks a little cranky. He still looks cranky. I don't think that walk did him any good. He's walking, you know, when you can tell a cranky person, you know, they're rigid, they're stiff, they're not loose, you know, they're just kind of there. Um, his face looked disgruntled. Um, and, uh, well, he doesn't look like he's still, you know, released the tension or the blood. I don't know. Um, he's tired. I don't know what the hell. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, uh, thank you, Samir. You're very sweet. Is he hangry? No, he's not hangry. As I was trying to nap, he was slurping away his food. Um, oh, Tiffany, that's funny. Maybe he need, maybe he needs to, you know, free ball it. I don't know. Maybe, you know, the tightness around me. Nether regions are a little too tight. It's sending him in a little tizzy. I don't know. Um, the heat is actually pretty generous today. Um, so I don't think that's it. 
Um, but you never know. It's the heat. The heat has been fine the last couple days. It's been beautiful. Um, I look stressed out. Will, uh, do I look stressed out, y'all? I don't think I do. Um, you know my brother? Right I'm a Taurus. Now? I'm a Taurus. Taurus. Oh, maybe it's a Scorpio thing. I don't know, Trisha. Is that, is it, this is something that, I don't know. It could be. Um, a little bit. Oh, I'm by far stressed. So, see how judgmental people are? See how wrong, wrong. see how wrong assumptions can be? Oh, you look stressed. And now everybody's, oh, she does. She does look stressed. Um, no, he would not be happy if he knew that. Oh, you, know, you saw the uh, AARP article? Uh, I'm not stressed, just very angry. Oh, James, you're a smart one. Yes, James, I'm very angry. Um, I don't know how you could tell all that in just a simple uh, 20 minutes I've been on. Um, however, you seem to be a know-it-all. You seem to be a know-it-all. Um, no, fat boy. No. You see, that's the thing about women. We don't work that way. Maybe some women work that way, where it's a release. For me, it's not. I'm emotional. Emotional. Right here. The baby dog is right here hoping Grandpa's going to get some food for her, and he probably will. Uh, oh, full moon. Mm. And I'm going to tell you something. Um, some of the, when, when there's a shift in the tides and the sun and the constellations and all that shit, um, I do notice he, Dan turns into a werewolf. He gets extra hairy. The fangs come out. Um, so I, I've noticed, I've noticed that's right. It's always the full moon. He gets a little cranky. All right, Christian. All right. I, I, I believe it. Um, I, I do. My glasses are somewhere. Oh, I hit them. I put them away because we had so many people over and they were out. Time for waxing. Of what? Of what? What are we waxing? <laughs> what if we, what if we, what are we waxing? My head? My eyebrows? My stress? My mustache? I thought I plucked it yesterday. Oh, Dan's hair. Oh, the nose. Dan. Got it. I was like, what are we waxing? <laughs> uh, oh, I need something, Patricia. It, when is my Taurus time? When is it? Love your shirt. Did you get one of your kitties? Go get one of your kitties. No. Um, I love your cats. They're pretty. They are, but they're pain in the ass. I'm tired of them squirting everywhere, you know? They squirt, they mark their territories, they stick their butts out and their tails waggle, and then they, you know, and I'm tired of all that shit. I don't know, Mama Bear, I can't tell you what he's going to do. I don't know how he's feeling, um, but if he can unwind, then maybe he can, but I don't know. Um, no, company's gone. <laughs> Jeff, always come in at the opportune moments. He goes, shit, let's see how long it takes. Oh. Okay. My hair is frazzled because I didn't blow dry it. I just got out of the shower. This is what happens. This is how beauty looks after the shower. Is this cute? It's not cute? No. Oh, what are you trying to say, Toby? That I need to do something? You're right. I should have, but I don't care. Um, take a dip and pull. Uh, no, I don't need to. Dan needs cut water. Dan needs something. He needs the beetle removed from his ass. Um... What's that? Fix my lashes? I didn't do anything to them. I put this in the refrigerator. This is bigger for Bill. When he comes. My brother coming? So I'm going to be coming. Dan needs a new wife. Um, I'm sure he would like one. Mm -hmm. Most men do. Uh, Dan's playing a spoof on us. No, I don't think so. He was cranky. He's a crankster. But that's okay. Everybody has their moment. Um. <laughs> I'll put this away for oh, Bill. Oh, thanks, Dana. I appreciate it. Yeah, he's saving food for Bill. <coughs> I don't know where he is. Um, we will be married um, 26 years in eight days. Eight days. Who was out in the garden? Dan was out in the garden for a minute. Um, so I don't know where he's in. Yes, Bill is Yes. Wrap this up um, it's fine, Ed. 
What? It's fine. Just put it down. I'll take care of it. Oh, I want to save it for a bill. That's fine. Put it down. I'll take care of it. I got another little wrap. No, I don't have any. I'm out right now. No more towel. I don't have any more, so just put it down. We have no more towel. Nope. Okay. Towels well, there, are done. There's his sandwich. Go this way. The camera's on. That's done already. Okay, cool. well, I'll that take it. I will. I will. Okay, fine. I don't know where Bill is. I uh, haven't seen him this morning. Okay, so when we do this, is he, um, he won't. So I'm going to show you everybody because everybody okay. seems to know all the things. Um, that, you know, he keeps, morning, keeps okay? asking, he Three keeps boys. asking, he keeps asking. So eventually we tell him the truth because he won't stop, right? So, um, and that's why some days we just go in for the kill immediately and we tell him because it gets him off the loop. Because when he's hyper focused on something, um, guess what? He doesn't stop. I promise you, we know what we're doing. I know it may not seem like it. Ed, shut the door. Where? Shut the door. I'm not coming on for the deal. See, How you doing, he Ed? keeps going. Doing okay? So guess what? It's going to have to be told. So all the trolls that don't like it, you can leave now. Because I don't it's know where Bill is. Because he's going to continue. I'll put this in the until, I'll, I'll keep it right here. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Okay. I won't be worried about it yeah. at all, but I think if we put it in the refrigerator, it'd be better or safer. I will. Yeah. I will. Just I'll... go go ahead and sit down for a little bit. What? Go ahead and sit down for a little bit. All right. I got to put this in here. Yeah. Thank you for helping me. Yeah, but I don't want you to go that way because the dog's in the way. So I'll take care of it. Just go sit down for a little bit. Keep your glass there. Keep your glass there. Leave it here? Yeah. We gotta find some cookies. I'll watch the news for you. All right. It's going on. Thank you for the You're welcome. It. You're welcome. You will make somebody a good wife. Oh, good. You will then. I, there's no doubt about it. Thank you. you. Gotta get the right guy, though. I do have to find the right guy. You do have I, the right guy? I do have to find the right guy. Who is that? I need one. What? I need the right guy. I thought you had one already. I do. Who is it? Dan. Is he the right guy for me? Pardon me? Is Dan the right guy for me? Yes, he's perfect. He is? He's a very bright guy, and you're both pretty bright people. And you both alike, same things. Yeah, that, that's good. Dan's very good. Yeah. You get a good choice. Good. Yeah. And smart. I got a little juice here. <laughs> so, all the trolls that say, both smart. say Dan needs a new wife. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> oh, hi, Deb. I miss you. Are you here? I need you. Um, I see a future wedding. Right. <laughs> Good choice. At first, I didn't know, um, you know, because he was on the one, one day you'll get a, a great husband. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he remembered I had one. <laughs> That's how quickly things go around here. <laughs> he, oh, welcome home, Candace. I miss you already. How's the house? Oh, my friend. One of my friends is home. Uh, Dr. Ed. What, uh, he was never formally diagnosed. Mm-mm. Um, who knows, Turtle Mama? He's a baby. A dirty. Oh, no, Candace. Oh, no, Candace. Um, oh, Michelle, thank you. Uh, hello in Canada, Beatrice. We have a lot of Canadians over here that like us. Maybe that's, maybe there's a connection somewhere. I don't know. Um, my tan. <laughs> Soon, September. Um, Carolyn, I am a decent person. I think so. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit. Un petit peu. Um, sometimes I can be a little mean, but who doesn't? I mean, we have to deal with people like Dan and crazy trolls on the internet, but we need some trolls. I mean, we need to have some trolls. What are my favorite things? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean by what? Like food, sweets, clothes, purses. Um, can I be your next visitor? I don't know. Do I know you? Um, so here's the thing. Hi, Tammy. We, um, we don't just allow ran, just so you know, because I think, I 
think there's a couple of you that are still confused. Um, uh, what rings my bell? I don't know. Nothing much these days. <laughs> I think you get older and you just don't care. Uh, bonsoir, Julie. Como se va? Uh, purses, you know, um, sour candies. I love sour candies. Sometimes wine. Sometimes a nice margarita. Um, why isn't Ed diagnosed? Um, because he didn't want to go through the testing. What do you do? It's his choice. Um, je ne, uh, je, je parle français un petit peu. Mm -hmm. Un petit peu. Um, what bell? Ring my bell. I don't know. Somebody asked what rings my bell. Um, I don't... Oh, no martinis. Uh-uh. Uh Y'all heard about my martini issue, right? <laughs> uh-uh. I can't. Danielle, you stay-at-home wife? Um, yes. I'm a stay-at-home wife. I was a stay-at-home mother at one point, and I became a stay-at-home caregiver and still stay-at-home mom um, and wife and fur baby mom and house watcher, cleaner, laundry person, bill payer, um, landscaper, and don't look at the grass. The grass is starting to die. So my landscaper and duties are failing because my sprinklers aren't hitting right. So I need to go out there and fix them at some point um, to go liquid the martinis. You know, I have, a, here's the thing. With the, you want $3,000? Mikey, you sharing? Uh, margaritas are the best. Uh, I have, I'm a jack of all home, stay at home women. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hello from Washington State. Um, I don't speak. What, what was that Spanish? I don't do that. Hola, como estas? Um, um, gracias. Uh huh. Uh, Dan is now content creator for his next chapter. Yes. Um, oh my God, you should see Brenda. My 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 grass is so dead. Like my backyard is so dead right now. I can't. Like I don't even know where to begin. And I just have to begin by turning on the sprinklers and adjusting them. But sometimes it's very difficult. I thought you weren't going to the casino till like September. What happened? I hope you do well, girl. Shit. Um, I had some chips and queso yesterday. I gotta be better. Um, I, my, I should learn Arabic. Shit. Do you know how hard it is to learn a new language when you're 49? It, I'm doing fine in California, I think. Uh, you can teach me. Hello from Florence. My, mm hmm, Phyllis, knee deep. My grass is knee deep. Oh shit, you need to cut it. Um, time to add the mini golf now that the grass is dead. Yes, can you come and make my backyard look better? Because it's really sad. I have failed. And it really makes me sad because I'm like, normally my grass is the best it can be, a lot better than it is. And right now, I, um, um, P. Brown, I fucking cuss and I eat with my mouth as well as talk with my mouth. I chew gum with my mouth and I kiss with my mouth. And I let my dogs kiss me with, on my mouth. Um, and yes, I do. I cuss. You don't like it? This isn't the channel for you. Thank you. Um, why do people try to tell me what to do? I'm 49 years old. I think I have made a pretty good alive moment in my life for 49. And being able to function on my own without other people telling me what to do. It's not funny. Um, I always had to help you, beauty. Oh, my God. Let me tell you. Hi, Cloudy. Um, did I pray today? Is that a trick question? I don't really know how I should answer that. Um, my heat, yes, it's gone. Um, I, 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 I look plenty 49 and that's okay. Yeah, kiss my grits. <laughs> um, by the way, Grandpa was just on and he had an amazing conversation. Um, yes, and what's wrong with the trucker's mouth? You know the people who cuss and say fuck. Fuck, 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 um, are one of the smartest people on the planet. Women, actually, men, sorry, it doesn't work for you. Only women who use the F word are one of the most intelligent people on the planet. So if we're all cussing like that, we all must be very highly intelligent. Um, are you still working? Um, I don't work. Um, he ate the pasta and the coleslaw and he wrapped up the, he, he, he wrapped up the hamburger for his brother Bill. Um, yeah, I don't even, you know what, even, even F, F, even, even, I don't know why I said F because I was reading a comment. I can't talk and read at the same time sometimes. Um, have you ever watched Nana Court? Yes. 
he's kind of a turn on, by the way. Are you are you off the waxing subject? Um, for me or for Dan? Uh, I'm as, yes, me too, Tammy. <laughs> I think my picture is in the encyclopedia under most intelligent. It would be Danielle Salinger. Actually, Danielle Behar Salinger. Um, he just wants his cookies. He's chilled right now. Um, yes, I don't think so. And I'm granted, you know, I, I, I understand that there are people who don't cuss and they're religious and it's against that. And that's fine, but maybe this isn't for you. And it's okay that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't work for you. It doesn't work for everything. You know, that's why there's other creators out there that might do better for you. But that's fine. Um, Dick, I don't think so. Can I just talk across my heart? Um, boring. All right. I'm not sure I agree with you, but that F word out of a woman's mouth is disgusting to me. Um, Annie, I don't believe I'm holding you here. I mean, the fucking, the fucking screen. I think, I don't know how you get out of YouTube. You fucking swipe to the right or fucking swipe to the left or swipe fucking up. I don't know. But you can get the fuck out. I mean, it's simple. Like, I don't understand why people... That was, she was, she was, she was on here. Beverly, um, je, je parle français, uh, uh, and, um, mon, uh, mon ami, uh, shit. I was trying to be clever with speaking. Um, however, it didn't work well for me, to my detriment. But yes, my, um, my, uh, dad's side of the family speaks French. So I thought I needed to learn it just in case they wanted to, like, remember I was part of their family. Um, and I could converse with them, but that never happened. So, um, I still learned it in the hopes that one day they would love me um, <laughs> and want me around them. Um, however, that didn't happen. <laughs> so here I am with a little bit of French in my brain and in my mouth and they still don't talk to me, so whatever. Um, just kidding, they do speak to me. Um, however, at the time they didn't, so it's fine. Um, and then I continued it in um, college because <laughs> fluent hick. I could too, Tim. Um, and then, <laughs> and then, um, I, uh, took French in college because I already knew it and I already knew how to write it and, um, I needed an easy A. Um, so I just continued the, uh, the, the French, uh, uh, studies. Yeah. And I haven't used it in years, but I do have a Zoomie who's French. Is she's French Canadian. Um, and so sometimes she reminds me and helps me with that. Uh, you got muted? What? I don't know. Uh, Monroe. Um, what did you study in college? Child development. Mm -hmm. Perfect for my household. Yeah. And it's funny because, you know, um, psychology and uh, child development are pretty much the same thing because most people operate under the age of 18 so just, just saying. um so i believe the adolescent brain so i studied birth through uh i birth through 18 uh and so most people are within that you know that that age gap so um it's perfect for me because I, I deal with all sorts of you know um uh, hola, Kenny. Como se va? You want to be like me? You can. It is Maria. Very hard. Hey, Lair. Dan's pouting. I don't know. He was like monotonous. You know, a little temper tantrum. Just shut, slam the door in my face, and I was like, I'm not doing love. I said, Ooh, okay, I will. Um, hello in Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, walking off your sciatica. Ugh, hawks. I'm sorry. I hate that. Do you have the the, the lame lad, um, early childhood, yeah, still going, ugh, I major, yeah, it comes in handy, right, y'all who are child development majors, uh, parlez-vous français, un petit peu, oui, oui, um, uh, he didn't yet, he didn't yet, no ferns yet, wasn't it that way sometimes last week, oh, yeah, he was a little grumpy last week, yeah, it's, it has to do with the celestial tides, I think, the pool and the yin and the yang with the earth and the, you know, the suns and the stars and the moons. Um, I don't know. He pissed me off. I pissed him off. And well, there you have it. Um, age group. Yeah, whatever. Age group. 
uh, see, it's impo it's possible to say wrong words and wrong things. It doesn't mean I'm bad. Um, I think majority of y'all got it. And that's the thing. If the people who come on and correct me, who fucking cares? Age gap? Ooh. Age group? Ah. Okay. Well, I think most people realized it. The pig's great. Um, but I came out here. He didn't. I did. Um, and because... Um, we needed to do a live. It's we we put it off for a week, and we've had friends here, so here I am. Um, and how many of you who have the uh, uh, um, the child of a major? It comes in handy with your men, uh -huh, your children, and uh, adults in general at work. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> um, so yes, it's really good. Um, yep. <laughs> uh huh. See, um, Coco is home. Tammy. She's great. She's a little off still. I don't know. Maybe a little stressed out. But um, I don't know what the McKenzie stretches are, Patricia, but there's some great um, stretches for the sciatic. It sucks. God, I used to have sciatic. I'm going to tell you, my sciatica was so bad um, before I started CrossFit. Mm -hmm. And then once I strengthened my core, I haven't had it. Shit, knock on wood. Because... Um, Oh, I can be sure. I have a long list of suitors. She loves Casey. I'm um, just so you know, I can add you to it. Um, would you? What did you do with your major? Um, I. What did I do with my major? Nothing. As with most majors, I think. <laughs> right? Um, is anybody doing anything with their majors currently? Like within the fields of their majors? I just want to know. Uh, anybody? So I went to try to go to. Um, Oh, what did I try to do? I tried to go teach. And then I realized when I was substitute teaching, I didn't like this. Oh, I bet, Tammy. I, I figured that. Uh, I have to use my skill. Oh, yeah. Seriously, Beverly, right? Oh, no, Mary. Oh, no. Uh, back surgery, shit. You're studying political science? Yes. And I, um, ugh, major. Ugh. I was a sub. I hated it. And I said, mm-mm. I don't want to teach. I don't like kids. I can barely stand my own. So, um, <laughs> it's Mama G, that's funny. Yes, nurse, I haven't had it in a while. I really didn't shit lately. Teachers have a, yeah. Oh, you divorced her? Shit. Teacher, social work. So, um, I ended up, what I ended up doing is I stopped going to, I, I went through um, my credential almost. Um, and then I stopped and I took over the daycare center I had been um, dealing with, uh, dealing with, I'm working at, and I became the um, director there. So I ran that facility. I worked for kinder care for like 10 years. Some of it, like five, six years of it was as a director. So I did management. I was around kids, but de mostly dealt with uh, managing um, staff and dealing with parents. And my um, assistant did all the grunt work the way it was supposed to be. And if Cheryl will, I'm here, she'll tell you that. Um, she's my pig lady that lives down the street. So she she knows it. And I, I was a great manager because I could delegate really well. Andrew, 49 years, Clara. Wow. I don't think I could. Hi, huh, Amy. Um, I don't think I could have done that for as long as I did. Uh -uh. It was a tough job. Um, it was hard to get people who were qualified. You know, you're always shuffling. Um, and it was just difficult to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, nursing in Atlanta, yeah. You make lots of money from TikTok. Don't need to work. Um, Monroe, um, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about TikTok. Um, when you make money um, on TikTok, you're sponsored. There's no sponsors on TikTok. Not yet. Maybe eventually. Um, and um, and you have to you have to uh, let people know when you're sponsored. Um, if you knew anything about social media, you would know that in TikTok. You would also know that you get more money for the views on YouTube, which I'm also on. Uh, and the third thing is, who cares? Hey, Mana, who cares? Who cares even if we are making $50,000 a month, which we are not? That would be great, but we don't. Um, hello, Valeria. Um, yeah, shit, all my shit I got Taylor right. Um, um, here at Monroe's down here on the, on the TikTok that I have below the YouTube, uh, in the hills of Tennessee. We met on the bayou, me and Dan, uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, where's the bayou? Mississippi? 
the Mississippi Bayou, and that's how we met. He was playing the banjo on the uh, the river um, in a boat, and um, I said, "Golly, that man is plays a mean banjo. Uh -huh. He's hot, hot with a mean banjo playing." And he was serenading me, and well, uh, there you have it. Um, Grandpa sitting down on the couch. Um, anyhow, yeah. So no. Uh, know your facts about how you make money. Just because I have 400 and something thousand viewers means I make, I think I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a little bit of info because you seem to know so much. Um, I think last month I made $258. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Off of TikTok. <laughs> I'm in the money. I'm in the money. La, 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 la. Barely pays for my, um, <laughs> barely pays, what the hell's going on here? It barely pays for my gas for my, for my family. Yeah. Um, yeah, turn it, I can buy it. My, <laughs> wait, oh, shit. Um, casino cash, not enough for me. I lose $258 like that, Mike. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, anyhow. Um, so, uh, <laughs> The, uh, you know, here's the thing. At this point in life, right, where we're at in the social media arena, um, are we working now to probably work harder to try to make more money? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Why not? It's something we're here. We're doing. Um, we like it. We love it. Um, and why not? You know, why not? Dan's switching careers. He loves doing what he's doing and it makes him happy. And so we just, we're jumping off the cliff and doing it. And so if we get a sponsor, yeah, yes. But right now, no sponsors. Yes, Robin, he's still there. He's still, I think he's got a box of Kleenex now. I think he's crying. Um, uh, it's, it is none of their business, Tracy Lynn. It honestly is not. But I think it's funny when people, um, do comments count like views or no? Um, I don't, honestly, I don't really know how it works. I think views get you paid like a penny on the dollar. A penny on the view, like for every 14,000 views, you get like five cents or something like this. Um, um, so I don't know, but there are people who have made it, uh, Mark. I mean, there are people who have made it. Yeah, two hundred fifty eight thousand dollars a month. Yes, Robin. Um, yes, my yacht. Remember, I, I told you, I bought you a new car. Did you not get it, girl? Um, yeah. Um, so I don't care, you know, at some point if I start make, making real money, I will not disclose that, <laughs> but I'm not, um, but YouTube pays more. So just for the people who think they know that TikTok pays good money, if you're sponsored, yes. But if you're just a normal person, just doing what I'm doing, no. Um, am I mad at you, Amy? No. Um, yeah. So, um, for views, there's other places that pay more, YouTube being one. Can of baked beans a week. Oh, baked beans have gone up. Can I even afford that? Um, <clears throat> my house guest left. Yes. Um, scammer. Leave old man alone. Yeah, I'm such a scammer. Damn it. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Out he goes. You're not making us enough money, Ed. Stop the exploiting. I need to find somebody new. Um, anyhow. Um, yeah, Millie's great. She's outside. She's enjoying this cool weather. Um, nothing else exciting. Uh, I'd be angry. I want a car shit. Hi, William. How are you? Um, off with their heads. Yeah, and that's the thing that really pisses me off about people. Y'all. Everything. Everybody's... Oh, Anita. Everybody's been pissing me off lately. It, a lot of people. Because I've been grumpy. Um, I've been grumpy. Um, and lack of sleep. And uh, um, everything else in between. And... Hi, Holly. And... Uh, I don't know. I'm always cranky. Uh, mm -mm. Not always. People make me cranky. Uh -huh. And if people just listened to everything I said, I would be cranky. Uh, oh, thank you, P. Thank you for all your hard work. Have you ever done battles? No. Um, that's just not us. I am going through menopause. Um, no, it's a plastic straw. Um, Dan's not here, so I can't get up and get myself something to drink. So I just have a little bit of my nugget ice left. 
I don't have merch yet. That's something that is on the way. I have to figure it out. You know, we had to leave behind the Salinger Farm shit. So there's new stuff. I have to figure all that out. But it's going to take some time. I've still got shit to accomplish and shit to do. Remember, I got you guys. Um, you know what I have is my new Mac book. <laughs> It's been in a box for the last week. I haven't even set up my MacBook. I've been so busy. Who does that? Who does that? Me. Because most people who get new devices are like on it, right? And everything wants to... Oh, uh, bro. What is this at Salinger Farm? It's my house. Mm -hmm. It's my zoo of a house. Between Dan, the animals, the kids, their friends, everything in between. Um, um, no, sir. She's staying in San Diego, unfortunately, for one more year. And how I know that, um, <laughs> my bank account was poor because this bitch is just taking money out of it. Oh, I need rent for this. I need rent for that. We have two versions of, you know, moving in, moving out, doing all this shit. And, oh, God. YouTube takes half of the super chats to the person that suggested it. Um, do they take half, Tammy? I don't know if they take half. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I haven't investigated all that yet. I don't even know. Um, I don't. <laughs> um, I don't even know what YouTube takes or what YouTube makes or I just whatever I get, I get. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's not set up. Uh -uh. I mean, it's like. Set up, but it's not set up, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. I'm Dan's second. I'm actually Dan's fourth wife. Yeah. Um, hay fever. Oh, I think that's what I have. Or a, a virus. Candace, is your throat tickling? <laughs> I did. I, I don't know. Um, you know. I don't think people realize how big of an understanding. Oh, Max, I appreciate you. I've never been muted on any TikTok live ever. Um, I don't know what's happening. Uh, fourth wife, yeah, I'm his fourth wife. Um, he, he was a little too much to handle, so the other three were like, fuck this shit, I can't handle him or his moods. I mean, his, 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 uh, menopause is, is really bad. Yeah, I mean, he's a beast. You, you, you guys talk about women being crazy, bruh. Check out the menopause. Um, <laughs> thank you. Dan's mad. I think he's just generally right now just mad. He's not in a happy place. He can't be funny. So, you know, it just has to fall on me. I can handle it. I'm not worried about it. I got it. You watch me from the beginning? Dan will pause. Yeah. Um, I'm the fourth. Yeah. Um, the fourth. <laughs> Dan's like 110. Grandpa's really 230. Um, <laughs> Dan needs to go gnaw on my pasture. That would be great. That would be great. Um, it's about what you're doing for the world. Ride hard to be safe. What's the cabbage? You mean money? <laughs> Is that what you mean? Um, I'm so bothered. Yeah. Um, by the way, he thinks so too, Mom G. I don't know what his problem is. People do believe me. And that's what's so funny to me is that people are like, wait, what? You're the fourth wife? Shit. You know, you got others be like, 26 years and like next week, y'all. Come on. Get with the program. Um, he's pouting in the room. I know. It's, I'm thirsty, y'all. And that's the thing, is people can't tell the difference. They don't know what the spoofs are. We had spoofs, and people were like, oh my God, those bitches need to leave your house. You need to seek legal representation. You hear me? This is not good. Squatters are not good. Um, and they're not strangers, by the way. <laughs> I invited them here. I invited them here. They were invited by, actually, hold on, I'll take that back. Um, they weren't invited. <laughs> they did invite themselves. But I know him. A damn. Do I? Where am I? My home. Who am I? <laughs> Who's here? I hear Dan. <gasps> Everybody run. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Dad. What? Come on, let's go take a shower. I'm sorry, what did you say? Let's go take a shower. Come with me. Can you say hi? Everybody me. wants to say hi to your girlfriend. Come with me. Hello. Okay. I'm taking him for a shower. Come on. Oh, he's grumpy. When I ask that question, you can hear it. He's mad. Uh -oh. Hold on, here. be careful. We don't want to see that. Dan, well, Dan, pull, pull up his pants. 
Pull up his pants. Careful, watch your step. Someone else. <laughs> Barb, I hear you. I hear you. I feel you. I see you. Amen. How's your burn? <laughs> I going here. Dogs? You know what I mean? How's your buddy? Okay? Yeah. The x-ray. Um... Where are we going? Hi, Tanner. That's how it is. Yeah. What? Come on, this way. We'll put some more aloe on it. Uh, he's, he's, is it awkward? Awkward. Yeah. What do you want? When my, when my son gets out of the way, I will, um, Andrew's burning. He's burning up for his love. I know, it's time for a drink. Oh. Um, hey, Father Tom, what's up? Oh my God, suddenly, really? They're so whatever. When you leave, I'll turn. Gonna pour a wine. Want one? Yes. PJ, hit me up. Um, what do you want? Do you want to give me anything? Well, we don't have anything, so. You want that pasta salad? Yeah. The one you got for lunch? Yeah, I'm going to leave him alone. It's fine. Um, I don't know, Tasha. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, did your house guests leave finally, Randy? God damn, they were exhausting. I mean, they ate all my food. They ate all my, drank all my coffee, drank all my soda. Used all my laundry detergent for Christ's sake. I don't even know who, how the hell they got here. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Rude. Oh, the short one. The one calling me rude right now. Yeah, let's not even talk about her. Um, oh, yeah. And then the, the, the cop wanted to slap some uh, handcuffs on Dan, but I think that was for a whole different reason. She acted like it was for the law in uh, failing to... Um, mistreat people but I think it was for some she's a little kinky um I think it was for something completely different um why were they at your house because they're my friends Randy Gee. remember somebody said because I said they're 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 from they're friends from TikTok I said yeah from TikTok Ugh, friends from TikTok right <laughs> yes it is possible um to have friends the tatted one yeah um you missed it PJ it's all on Dan's page um, he's still pouting. I could tell by when I asked him that. Some come say hi. I'm giving Grandpa a chat. I'm giving Grandpa a chat. That's what he's saying. Um, they were not kidding about us all. Um, they were kidding about, yes, us damn being abusive. Yes. Um, and they were kidding about me making Grandpa pick up the crumbs with his fingers. Absolutely. Um, so that was also a spoof. <laughs> A spoof. Um, yes, that was also a spoof. Um, really, you think we would have people over at our house uh, and if we were faulty like that, show people that we were that faulty? Don't you think? Think about it for a minute. Don't you think that we would be a little bit smarter than that? Come on, y'all. Be better. Um, Dan's giving Grandpa. They did not overstay their visit. We knew they were leaving today. <laughs> we talked about it um, prior to their visit. Um, everything was planned. Y'all, I've known these people for over a year. Um, yes, California Vic. Uh, he's, he's got a big ass beetle up his arse. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I don't invite strange people to my house. Um, We don't pick people off the streets either um, and bring them over. Um, we, 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 we know people. We know these people and we don't, we allow them. I've known them. Um, oh, David, I love that. I love that, David, um, that we help anyway. Um, yes, well, uh, it, it, I've seen these people's faces, y'all. Um, I've talked to them in person. So no stragglers. I don't allow stragglers. Um, I don't loud strangers, and we've been talking for a year, just remember. 
Um, so they are friends of mine. One of them I speak on the phone with for hours every day because, you know, she needs help and guidance and love. Um, I'm just kidding. But, no, I do. There, there's, there's, there's relationships. <laughs> the other one, well, she was picked up on the side of the road, but the tatted one. Um, <laughs> hi, Vanessa. Just kidding. She's a friend, too. Um, and we they've been part of our Zoom family. So, believe it or not, you guys, you can make friends on this app. And there's a lot of friends on YouTube that are starting to form, people who communicate after, you know, the lives. And I love it. I love it. I love that I help people meeting other people. Um, and it's really great. Great. Um, and I do believe, Heather, that they are very lucky to have me in their lives, all of them. Um, I, I think that everybody benefits from me. I don't really benefit from them that much, but I know that I give them more than they could ever imagine. Ever imagine. Also a joke. Also a joke. Um, <laughs> also joking. Um, oh, PJ, well, welcome. I love it. Uh, everybody. <laughs> um, we have done a couple meet and greets. Typically when we travel and we do things with some of our um, friends, on TikTok, social media, we tell people, hey, we're gonna be here. Um, so y'all wanna come, then come. Um, oh, kangaroo, can you bring, send me one? Can you send me a kangaroo? Um, <laughs> the tattered one was holding us hostage. <laughs> She's dangerous. You see all those tats? She had one on her neck. You know what they say about neck tats, right? They've done some time in prison. She, I think she has a secret past. Uh, does she have a secret past? Um, the tatted one is dangerous. She's armed and dangerous. I believe it. Um, she was very secretive with her bags upstairs. Wouldn't let me go up. And every time like, I went up there, I was like intruding on her. And the look she gave me was like a look to kill. She did. Um, and then we were at the casino. And um, uh, she said, hand me some money, bitch. Or I'm going to cut you. She did. Mm -hmm, she did. And somehow, she um, took my dog away from me. I don't know. I, my dog. I think she was feeding her. And she was like, no, I'm not feeding I don't feed her anything. I, I'm not feeding her. And guess what? All of her treats are gone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> uh, she didn't, she, she, she no. Baxi, um, Baxi loved her too, but um, Baxi loved um, the other one, the cop. Um, and, uh, but Coda was like stuck to Candace. I don't like it, but my baby's back now. I had her. She napped with me today. The other one. <laughs> and they took the Porsche. One of their, one of their suitcases, the, 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 um, the, um, <laughs> the other one, you know, the one, the, the police officer. Um, her bag was extra heavy. I don't remember it being that heavy. So I'm going to have to go ransack upstairs and make sure everything was... Um, Coco got sick with too much water. Yeah, $2,000 sick. WTF, y'all. Um, there you have it. And, and spoof. <laughs> spoof! <laughs> spoof, y'all! Um, so yeah, no. Um, Dan's looking for this fifth way. Uh, Dan, um, Dan is salty. Yeah, I don't know. And he, the more I talk about it, the more he's pissed off if he's watching. I don't think he's watching. Um, anyhow, um, somebody just said they're leaving if Dan's not here. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye, Felicia. So my, um, my friend Lisa sent this to me. Um, she is from Texas and she was mad because, um, yeah, she took, I thought maybe she squeezed up the Porsche and stuck it in there. Um, she can't drive a stick anyway, so it's fine. Um, so she was tired. She was tired. She was tired. She was tired of me not representing the Texans. So, uh, my other Texas friend didn't send me anything Texas. She sent me a whole bunch of shit from H-E-B, but she didn't send me a Texas shirt. What kind of friend is she? I fed her. I let her swim in my pool. Um, and I got nothing. Nothing. You hear that, Christine? You hear that, Shorty? Nothing. I haven't even checked to see if your house, your house outside. Um, anyhow, there's a lot of sarcasm that comes out of my mouth. So, a turtle mommy, yes, girls, turtle mama is kosher. She's kosher, if that's who you're talking about. I'm trying to read the text as you guys are. Uh -huh. Um, what's funny 
is they drank all, they don't, two of those people don't even drink. So it was really funny. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened either. Any of you mods that are on, I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, so she's, she's, yeah. Anyhow, um, I let her swim in my pool. Yeah. And anyhow, um, thank you. Um, and I'm not, it's a manual. Yes. Um, John, does it look like we would have an automatic Porsche? Dan would be like, Pfft. of course it's a manual transmission. Shipton and a Porsche. Who buys automatic Porsches? I know a lot of people do. What's the point? Um, just kidding. Um, I want to fly somewhere. Bahamas. Okay, let's go. Um, T. Martin, here's the thing about the, the bag of you know what at the White House. Somebody was having a good time in there. Let him have fun. Um, does Ed look for Dan when he's at Mark's? I don't think so. Um, I think in his mind, um, he knows Dan's taken care of, right? He remembers Dan's married at some point. He doesn't worry. Like, he doesn't remember Mark ever being married. So that's the worry, is Mark's alone. Um, that's why. Um, where else was I thinking? Um, well, I was saying something else. I don't remember. Yeah. William, I'm like, who cares? What is it? A big deal. Who cares that there was a little baggie? It's not anthrax. Somebody was having a good time and they left it behind. And let me tell you, they're going to be pissed that they left it. And if it was a worker, well, shit, his party's over. Could you imagine being that person? Um, anyhow, I, I'm like, um, I don't know why it's like such a like breaking news and we need to talk about the bag. Like, to me, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> and who cares? I'm like, shit, let them enjoy themselves. Poor guy, they're fingerprinting and finding out who it is. Highly trafficked area with some security guard or janitor, and their party is done. They're pissed. And who cares if it was a hunter? Let him enjoy his freedom and his fun. Lord have mercy. And if it was Joe, who cares? Rock on, dude. Shit, I would be happy. If I know he was doing that shit, I'd be like, fist bump, you get it, Joe. Um, <laughs> anyhow, just kidding. Um, Dan has been kidnapped, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't understand. Sometimes the incessant need to harp on one particular bag. It's a bag, y'all. We heard about it yesterday. I'm sure we're going to find out whose it was. And I hope it's Joe. I really do. I hope it's Joe. I wouldn't even, right? If I found the bag, you think I would have been like, uh, excuse me, um, I found this in the in the in the woman's room. Is this belong to anybody? I'd be like, <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't. Um, I don't like that. But I'm just saying, like most people. Um, <laughs> who cares? Who? I mean, I'm sure there's other things in there we don't know about. I mean, what the fuck? Anyhow, I just get exhausted with the, um, can I talk about that stuff? Um, <laughs> I just, I'm like, who cares? Oh no, let's talk about it for another week. Whose bag was it? Hmm. And you know, the joke about hunters. Who cares? I hope it was hunters. I hope it was Joe's. I hope it was Kamala's. Shit, maybe they were having a pre-party. Who cares? Can I say that? Um, it was yours, shit. Uh, one time. Why would I say I hope it's Joe? Oh, now we got another serious one. I hope it's Joe. Somebody wants to know why I said that. Um, I, can you not have fun these days anymore? Everybody takes a dose so so. Why'd you say that? <laughs> why'd you say you hope it was Joe's? For shits and giggles, that's why. For shits and giggles. Settle down. Why can't people have fun? Danielle, get with it. <laughs> uh, why? Right, lighten up. <laughs> shit. Right. Maybe, oh shit, I'm supposed to do, I mean, just look, white powder. House, White House confirms. Found in West Wing. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> right. Why isn't it funny? Why can't we say that? Shit, maybe it was Trump. Maybe he snuck in the White House and planted it there. I mean, I can't say that either. Shit. 
<laughs> Jeremy left it at the White House. Were you there the other day? Were you there yesterday in the West Wing? Um, I love reality TV. Everybody is so uptight, Shirlene. I mean, you can't have fun. I mean, remember our spoofs in the last couple days? Um, shit, the amount of people are like, oh my God, those bitches are so disrespectful. <laughs> Friends people, joke people, funny people. <laughs> I mean, laugh. Oh, good. Thanks, Tiff. I was just going to get that book. That slipped out. That wasn't nice of me. I was just going to go mute somebody. I can't see that. Like, I, nobody's watching me. I was going to get that guy. Oops. <laughs> I was, I was going to get him. Um. Uh, <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> can I say that? I don't think I can. Uh, William, we can't talk about that on here. We can't talk about politics. Are you kidding me? Could you imagine if I talked about politics? You know what? I'm going to tell you what Dan would say. We are for the people. For the people. For America. That's what we are. Um... I was devastated by the spoofs. That clearly said spoofs. Are you serious? You, you didn't find it funny? The spoofs? Specifically said spoofs? <laughs> Y'all, I can't help it. I just can't help anybody. Y'all, it's funny. Have you ever been to Canada? I think so. I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't find it funny. Um, well, we did. And um, I, I, I think that that's why we did it. We were laughing our asses off. Um, hi, Turtle Mama. I can see, I can see better, too. Um, <laughs> Princey, you are? <laughs> no, I didn't. My mouth's peeking and parched and caught now. My tongue's, my tongue's what? That means I'm dehydrated. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, hey, aren't people, God, well, I didn't think it was funny. Well, shit, I'm sorry. Um, I can't, I can't make everybody happy. Um, and we did, we laughed our asses off and we're still laughing our asses off. Um, on, uh, yes, I take meds, um, right here. Uh-huh. Um, I do, right here. I'm gonna hide my RX, but yeah, I take them, they're right here. My bottle, right here, see, Lexapro. Uh -huh. I talk about my Lexapro, so it's no surprise that I take meds, uh-huh. And um, who cares, you, everybody should take them. They're great, just kidding, just kidding. I'm not a professional. Um, hi, Joe. I, 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 River Cat, I think so. I think people expect more of me. Um, and I disappoint a lot of people. Um, you guys, did you hear about the White House? There was a bat found in the West Wing. Bum, bum, bum. Whose was it? That's what we must know. Find out next week on the news. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've never been on a, um, Oh, I'm never ashamed, girl. You know that. I'm talking about mental health all the time. Um, most caregivers, most people, Libby, I think most people in this world right now on this planet and even in Mars and Venus and Pluto need medication. Um, oh yeah. Did you hear about that, Linda? What was in the White House? Oh, blasphemy. How dare they? Who left it? Whose was it? We want to know. Bum, bum, bum. DNA. DNA analysis, and coming visitor logs. Stay tuned. And security details. Somebody's really pissed. That's all I know. Somebody's really pissed. Um, the maid. <laughs> who cares? You know what? Again, who cares? Why is that national news? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, rain. It's horrible. Um, t uh, Michelle, 
straight up reality TV, uh -huh, Yellowstone, which is going away, and my friend, the tatted one, she brought me a Yellowstone shirt. I'm so excited. Um, which, um, which, which laugh? The, <laughs> it's a new laugh or a very, like, you don't think that's funny? Well, I do. Grouchy Pants is still in the room with Grandpa. I don't think Grouchy, I don't think you guys are getting Grouchy Pants today, so I'm sorry to disappoint you. Um, oh, I think back in the day, Wentworth is old, I, Andrew wants food. Um, a sleeve tattoo? No, shit. Um, Selling Sunset, never got into that. Um, yeah, the walls have eyes, they do, you know, see the, the, all that past president's eyes move when you walk past them. <laughs> Somebody's watching you. I always hear that somebody's watching me. <laughs> so, uh, is there plenty of tricks on me? I don't know. Um, oh my God, Rain. I have been ordeal. Please have a tune in. Um, basically, we're just, we disconnected from the person who we were connected with who helped us with Salinger Farm and it's no longer ours. So we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't do anything with that anymore. So, um, um, so for any of y'all who, um, are still, uh, doing your Salinger Farm shit on YouTube, um, abort, um, that's not us. Um, and we have no longer given permission to that. So if you see anything other than us doing anything, not us, not us. We don't support people who take things from us. Um, they are Sun Ocean. Shut the front door. No way. So yes. Yeah, so if you have, um, she just told me that. Shut up. Kyle Richards and Mauricio are breaking up. What? Yes, and Patreon. Y'all, um, shut, no, I knew what you meant, Marie. I was like, him? Um, oh my God. Shut up. <gasps> did he have all those affairs? I bet he did. Something was, what? They were the cues. Bum, bum, bum. He slept with Dorit? Shut up. He did not. Dorit? What about what's his face? Dorit's husband? What's his name? Dorit? <laughs> Rumor. There was a lot of rumors about me, Mauricio cheating. PK! <laughs> PK! I mean, let's be real. What? Oh, I need the damn news on. Now, why aren't they posting that on CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC? That is news I want to hear about, not a white bag. I want to hear about Kyle and Mauricio. That is news. <laughs> Fuck the bag. Lab test confirmed. Sunsets was. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Good afternoon. Let's see. Who must have left that there for me? PK, yeah. Uh, uh, well, Dory is a little too much, too. Yeah. Over the bag? What bag? The Birkin? Um, shit, TMZ? Uh, you all have to... What the hell? You all have to keep me updated. Shit. He's ready for his dinner while I have... I have. Shit. Yeah, you know, shit. We have to, I don't know about Kyle and Mauricio, but I do know about the bag. Hey, did you guys hear about that bag down in the West Wing? Um, pump is closing? I mean, bruh. And they're just so... Kyle's dating a country singer? Female? What? What? Y'all. I cannot right now. There's way too much shit. You guys are telling me? So much. Dorit? Kyle and Mauricio gone? Pump is closing? And Kyle's a lesbian. That, is that your drink there, Daniel? That's yours. I'm blown. But yet I have to listen about a, a, a white bag in the White House. Shit. The farm is dead, y'all. The farm is no longer alive. Nathan, is that you? Is that our Nathan? 
Nathan? Is that our Nathan? Um, the firm is dead. The firm is dead. We're just Salinger. Salinger people. Salinger house. Salinger whatever. Um, Oh, I'll turn them on. I love you. Oh my God, you're my Nathan. Nathan, um, Nathan, we were trying to get a hold of you. Um, you're my Nathan. Um, message me. I just followed you. Message me, Nathan. Yes. Okay. I I try to message him. Can you guys? Um, um the firm is dead. Um, however, in addition, shit, you all, I have to write these notes down. My pad's not here. Nothing's here. I have to figure this all out. I don't care about the damn bag, but I would like to know whose it was. But, um, there was a woman seeing a shapeshifter. Dolores, that's not from. We need to know about our people. Um, ha, fla, ha. Um, shit. Y'all have me stumped. I can't think anymore. Um, okay, what was I saying before y'all just blew my mind, mind blown right now? Um, Lord and Wade. Shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need, I need to catch up on TMZ. I'm so they won't return it. See, shit, they won't. You can't leave that shit in the White House. It gets jumped on. It gets investigated. I hope you wiped your finger. Is it free of fingerprints? Because they're going to find you. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't. Um, okay. So, a little bit about a little bit about the Zoom. Um, we're not doing Zoom um, open. We're not opening up Zoom room yet. Uh, yet. We'll figure out some other... I don't know yet. Where It's closed room right now. I can't even think about that. Um... Okay, Presley, a uh, shit. I need to get on this TMG shit. Okay, so the the Zoom is not open as of right now. Um, a tan in the pool. Um, but we have Patreon. That is, sorry, I had a brain fart. And um, we have Patreon. Um, thanks, Queen Sugar. Um, we have Patreon that takes the place of our. Uh, every day something new. I can't keep up with it. Shit. I need to drink my ass. I haven't done this yet. Um, so, uh, Patreon takes the place of our website. So, I haven't downloaded for all of you people who um, are on Patreon. I have not uploaded today. My day is so tired. I've been, I, you know, airport, live airport, came home, napped, um, woke up, showered, and here I am. So, um, hi, Scoops. <laughs> oh, that's good, Roland. White House, get it? <laughs> white bag, white house. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I know it's just nothing. It's just nugget eyes left over with my crystal light. Nothing exciting. I love you too, Ames. You know what? Grandpa's sitting here just chilling. Um, I still think it is Trump. Anyhow, Patreon. I know. So Tracy, I apologize. Um, I've been, I've been um, flaking the last couple days. So just you know me, I go crazy and I'll upload a whole bunch of shit and then well, apparently when people are over, I just lose my mind. Um, white substance. Been confirmed, y'all. <laughs> it was it tested for fentanyl. Um, anyhow, um, Patreon pictures. I was actually getting ready to do a Patreon upload, and then all I had at four o'clock, and I was like, shit. And Dan's giving me the side eye and getting pissed off because I wasn't ready. And well, whatever. Um, no, I know, and you know, I'll be posting tonight. Um, because I that's on my agenda. It's like I change my load of laundry. Put the wet clothes in the dryer, and then the rest of it will, you know, shit, Andrew's gonna learn. He's gonna get married. Um, maybe shit in the bag. What bag? You want me shit in? Um, and I don't do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Presley. Like, I'm like, who cares about the white bag? Just say, yeah, white bag was found. Whose was it? Um, not mine. Um, CIs, it says CI. Let me give you a bolt. Um, it was apparently CIs. Um, and they won't give it back to him. Um, he, he, he's on YouTube and he said he's, he misses it. Um, but that's okay. Am I okay? Amy, are any of us really okay? 
I don't know. I don't think so, and I don't believe so. Um, I have moments of clarity and moments of feeling okay, and then there's other moments where I don't feel so great. Mm. 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 What? You're spinning? You don't want that. Do you want an egg salad sandwich? Do you want... No, I do, but I might go uh, hit the mall with Joseph because he's back for a couple days. So you don't want any food now? Not right now. Well, shit me, Twinkies. I guess he doesn't want anything now. Um, the hot, uh, So, yeah, amen. Tiff says hi. He's burned like a lobster. Rock the lobster. Um, yeah, who, 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 any, how many people are on Lexapro? Um, I think it's, I mean, it's worked for me. I know there are people who've tried it and they don't like it. It doesn't do well for them. Um, <laughs> me. It was my bag. I mean, just own it. You know, they probably don't even know their bag's gone yet, right? I mean, I'm like, shit. I'm like, I'm like going because they're going later, actually. Do you want some egg? What do you want, then? The salad. <sighs> Dan's pouting. Why? I don't know. Uh, on a FXer. It's in your bag. Um... Are we talking about, what is, I don't know, what does the Andrew think about my platform? Ibuprofen is best for a sunburn. He can't take ibuprofen. He's got kidney shit. He's got kidney problems. Um, so he only can take Tylenol. But I've been putting, um, did that gel do anything good or no? I mean, it's really not going to take it away. You just have to be smart enough to remember sunscreen. You like this pasta salad? Yeah. Um, I was, uh, I had a piece of, um, like, jerky between my tooth, my molar, and my implant. And so I was digging at it yesterday with my, oh, yeah, the shaving cream. Um, and I was digging, and my fucking gums hurt. Oh, they hurt, you know, bad, you know, like it's sore because I think I was digging too hard and trying to get the piece out and then flossing and <laughs> um, I'm shocked she just makes people food. Yeah, I do. Um, I've done that my whole life for people. Um, <laughs> Andrew's big. He could probably smack you in here. He could. And he's like, <laughs> um, Gatorade for me. Snail mucin. Um, I have been married once, and my husband has been married once. Vinegar. I've heard. Well, he's got calamine lotion for um, his poison ivy. He has to. Um, he does. Uh, uh, what's your name? Andrew. Nagzima. Oh, girl, I remember Nagzima. Oh my gosh. Where are you? Um, I remember Nazima. We used to wash our face with it. Me and my girlfriend um, in Nashville, um, when I would go visit in the summertime, um, has uh, we had not Nazima. Um, silver cane vinegar tastes the I forgot about vinegar. He looks way older. He's only six and a half years. Um, Danielle, sure that wasn't your bag? Um, no, I, I've never been a fan of the white powdery stuff, um, unfortunately. Moxie, mom, remember that? Put it on your face and it felt so good. Um, yeah, and remember Seabreeze? Seabreeze? Seabreeze. And I still didn't do this shit. Aloe, I had the aloe with lidocaine. My thing hurts. Um, I have, who has four kids? I have three. Well, four if you count down. Seabreeze. God, I love Seabreeze. I have witch hazel for what? Witch hazel for what? What are you saying? Hey, Shia. What's up? Warm salt water. I know. It hurts. Because I think I was just dumping, you know, the little flossers. And I was like. Um, I know. I heard that, Deb. I'm so behind everything. I will. I was thinking about doing um, the salt water today. Gatorade for my son. Uh, a Seabreeze. Itchy scalp? I always have itchy scalp. Are you serious about the sea breeze? Like you put it on the scalp? Shut up. 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 Shut up.
Shut up. The sex wax, the, mm hmm mm hmm Sensodyne, I always use Sensodyne because I have sensitive teeth. Mm, okay. You like this? My favorite cup. Business is over. Thank you. Somebody keeps, um, oh, Kim, it's called sun poisoning. <laughs> um, I know, but my tooth hurts, Anita, because I was digging in it. Between my implant and my thing, I was thinking about you. Um, nothing good, just ice. But it feels good. After sun. Yeah. Oh, uh, Lisa, I've had that before too. I know, I dug around it and it hurts. This is Sonic Ice. This is like, um, Presse, I love it. I love that you like it. No, it'll be fine. It, I've done it before. The stupid, you know, they tell you to get, I was getting under the implant and I was just, it's all irritated now, so it hurts. Um, <laughs> yes, so does my husband, my son. <laughs> so yes, this is like, um, Grandpa is quiet. He was talking for a while, you guys missed it all. Um, he was yapping. Kosha, and I make a paste with water, put it around your tooth. That's good. Shit. Take a shot. I know, I'm going to have a drink, I think, one drink. Um, cause it'll help me detox and unwind and unwind. I just haven't had, um, the problem is to switch some tequila. I know. Doesn't, um, Listerine like clear it up? Um, Dan is mad. I know. It's okay. We all have our moments. I mean, there's just times that people don't want, he hasn't been in the mood, you know, he doesn't feel very, uh, up. Who does the housework? It's me. What are you talking about? I don't like the fern. I don't like it. Never have. Um, oh, kombucha beer? Does it make you poop? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I, and and I, I came on. I wasn't, I mean, y'all, just so you know, um, I, I, I could have done another night and just chilled, but I didn't because, you know, I thought, well, um, I'll get on because we still need to come on. We promised everybody. We promised people yesterday. We didn't do it. So today was the day. Um, um, oh, good, Kathy. So basically, my skin routine is stuff that you can't buy. So I can't share it. Just so you know. Um, because, you know, I did all those laser treatments. So it's specifically... Um, moisturizers and toners and everything that go along with those. Uh, I did Megan. I don't know. I don't know. I know. That's why I came on. That's why I came on. Um, oh, Kathy. Yeah. So the Patreon is great. Everybody so far who is watching the Patreon and who has subscribed to the Patreon are loving it. Hey, Kevin, I'm posting pictures. I'm posting, you know, it's more, um, it's a smaller group of people. So it's really nice. Um, it's really nice. And so I can post pictures. I can be, you know, a little sneaky with what I put in and which family members. And, um, and you know, longer videos. Um, my laser treatments were for my face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's fun. So today I was going back. I was going back. Victoria loves it. Yep, Tracy loves it. Um, and I was going back. This is the... I don't know, 32, I can't read. The 30, 32, is it 32? I don't know, what the hell? I call, the this is the basic bitch cup. Um, my face. Because they work specifically when you do these laser treatments with these specific companies to make sure that, you know. Um, oh, Trisha, good night, see you in the morning maybe. Um, yeah, he's being a poopy pants. He's being a poopy pants. Um, yeah, I took him away. I think I figured out how to do it. 
Um, have I had Botox? I've done it in the past, yeah. But Botox doesn't work for me. Look. I don't have Botox. <laughs> I don't have it. Um, it doesn't work for me. Right now, I don't know if the laser is eating it up or if just menopause. Sometimes people with menopause also, um, they're not getting divorced now? Shit. Yeah, I got rid of them. I gotta figure out how to do this shit. I don't know what I'm doing. You do have friends, Tracy. I believe in having friends. I believe you all who show up all the time when we're on are friends. Um, oh, you're welcome. You know, that really triggered me today. And I, yeah, they're my real lashes. And I felt really pissed off. You know, there's certain things that really trigger me. Um, and really not much of anything else. But when people say body shame people, God, that pisses me off. I think it's such a scummy thing to do. So, um, I just don't like it. And I think it's just a low. And um, it really upsets me. Um, oh, user, thank you. That's okay, Spice Comes. Who cares? Get you done, girl. Oh, seven days, Jesse. Holy crap. My friends went back home. I'm going to miss them. Um... Um, yeah, I, um, oh, hi, Alicia. Uh, I, we typically come on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, um, and I'm on every morning around 8.30 PTSD, PTSD, <laughs> PST. <laughs> uh, hi, Jay and Donna. Um, yeah, I can do I'm sorry, Dan's, I don't think he's coming home. Um, it's a little penny. A little cute little silver penny. Isn't that cute? And it's got the tails on the back too, y'all. It's one of my favorite necklaces. Um, oh, Jesus. How's the casino? No, didn't win. Trust me, if I won, y'all would know. Didn't win. Um, you're usually running in the morning, right? Yes, I'm usually running in the morning. Um, oh, my see, I appreciate that. So, welcome, Alicia. We are on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. We've had a little hiatus um, the last week because we had company. And, um, well, that's it. But we should be back to our schedule. Yeah, my not only my husband's around, but he's a little grumpy pants today. So he just stayed behind again, which is fine. Because his energy just sucks right now. So it's better he stay in the room. Um, I was Bronx now. <laughs> Hello, Saudi. How are you? Um, let's see. Because that's annoying. Oh, in Atlantic City? Uh, one of these days, y'all. Yeah, that person stole my picture, so I blocked them. Um, one of these days, I'll win. You guys, one of these days, I'll come back, and nobody will ask me because I'll be mad because you guys keep asking, and I never have anything good to report. I will tell you if I win. I promise you. Um, oh, Robin, yes, they did this morning. Uh-huh. He made fun of my belly. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't... Um, hi, Rachel. Thank you. And it wasn't about me that I was worried about. It's the other creators that I worry about. I worry about the people who get body shamed because everybody has this, everybody, get it? Everybody has a story. Um, our bodies are beautiful in their own ways. And it just really pissed me off. And I took my shirt off with my jog bra on and I said, that's one of my biggest, bye Dolores, um, one of my biggest um, problems with you know me and gaining my eight pounds that I've gained in the last couple months and everything is is already had problems, right? I already had problems with my head from being anorexic and having, having body dysmorphia. And it's a struggle for me. So I took off my shirt proudly and I said, you know what, thank you for pointing out my weakness. I'm taking this off and I'm owning it. And I played, you know, I did jiggle my jiggle and I jiggled, jiggled, jiggled it and I did, you know, that stuff with it. Because, you know, I'm trying to prove a point. And if I'm trying to preach to everybody else about owning their shit and appreciating who they are and what they've been through and the trials and tribulations that their bodies have been through, then I gotta do it too. So I just got pissed off. Um, so y'all, um, oh Beth, we're with you. Um, it pissed me off, so I took off my shirt and I said, you know what, I'm embracing my shit because this is uncomfortable for me. And what my little problem is, is not the same problem for everybody else, but everybody else is all subjective and it's all relative, right? So what you have to understand is own it. We're all embarrassed of shit that we have and flaws we have, but you know what? For people to fucking point that shit out, 
You don't know what that person's dealing with. You don't know if they have pain or they have a health problem that is causing issues in their body, causing them to gain weight, to keep weight on, and to keep all that. Fuck that shit. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. People make fun of people with saggy, you know, breasts or saggy skin from having babies. Gosh damn. We grow children. We grow humans in our bodies. You know, that pisses me off. I don't have much triggers in life, but body shaming is a huge MF and thing for me. Um, and like I said, I'm a tough girl for the most part. It's the other people who are dealing with it. And you don't know, right? We don't know what they have dealt with before coming on a live or what they were thinking about, or maybe if they were binging and purging before, or maybe they're trying to stop. And by you making a stupid ass comment, can send them over the edge again. Rude, disrespectful. The judgment and the, 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 the fucking observations and the meanness that comes out of mouths of others is so disgusting. God damn, you know? And I, you know, I remember being faulty with those things and I remember thinking, oh God, they must eat all the time. You know, that's a bad thought process because that's not true. That's not true. There's a lot of people out there who struggle with their weight and they don't eat because they think that's the healthy way to lose it and they're not losing it. In fact, they're gaining it. Y'all be better. Be supportive. Be thankful, you know, of life and the beauty that we're surrounded by and all of these beautiful things, markings, scars, whatever has taken place, everything in our body has a story to tell. Everything. Everybody's critical on themselves. So am I. And everybody's struggle is different with me. And it just breaks my heart when people are stupid, ignorant, you know. Um, Crooklyn, I'm originally from Nashville. Um, everything, you know, you see everybody. You know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And I think there was, what was it? Was it Skims even? She did a line. I mean, it's Kim Kardashian. But, you know, with every shape, size, color. You know, and Dove, I think, did something too with embrace the beauty of being a mom, having war wounds of life, you know, sexual abuse or um, physical abuse or, you know, health issues, scars from getting cancer removed or whatever. You know, everything about us, all of our bodies from head to toe tell our story. Nobody knows your story unless you share it. Be nice. Be nice. Pisses me off. Right, and the chronic pain people. I have close friends that have chronic pain. They can't do a damn thing. They hurt. You think they wouldn't give anything to get up and walk, but they can't because it hurts. Fuck you for saying something, for body shaming them. Fuck you for not knowing their shit. They, fuck you. Shit, that pisses me off. And thyroid problems, right? That just pisses me off. I just, I lost that shit because you know my little role you know, yes, I have a problem with it. It, I hate, I walk, I feel it shake. If my money don't jiggle, jiggle. It reminds me, I sing that to, to myself. Um, love yourself, you know? That's why I took off my shirt and I said, you know what? I'm embracing it. This is hard for me. This is hard for me. This is hard showing you my weakness, which is, you know, certain things. Um, but how do you fix weaknesses? How do you fix fear? You face it. You face it. Um, ignorant, completely ignorant people who judge. It's part of judgment. It's part of thinking they know, right? Like the people who are like, oh, you're making millions off of grandpa. Um, no. And no. Um, again, you're judging or you're assuming you know my story. You don't know my story unless you've taken the time to learn and listen to me. Um, and it just, it just pisses me off. Y'all, it just pisses me off. Um, and y'all, it's up to us internally, ourselves, to fix us. Nobody else is gonna fix you. But love yourself, that's the first step. That's the first step, it does suck. I, Alicia, I have a friend that is completely in chronic pain. I have another one that is in chronic pain because of a back injury and she keeps falling and breaking her ribs so it keeps making her even worse. And then I have another friend that fell a couple days ago and he has a broken hip now, you know? It's, and he has, a, he has a neuropathy in one of the other leg, you know? People can only do so much. Learning to love yourself is the hardest thing. I'm 
I'm still struggling to love myself, but I'm making progress. I'm putting myself first. Setting boundaries, accepting my faults, accepting my imperfections, accepting that I'm getting older, accepting that these hound cheeks are coming in. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I could, like, you know, get a facelift or something, but I'm not going to do that. It's acceptance of ourselves. Acceptance. My hair's thin and brittle. What the fuck am I going to do about it? It is what it is. I'm gaining weight. I'm getting older. What am I going to do about it? I can't stop time. Time sucks. Age sucks, but here we are doing it. We got to do it the best way we can. That's the first step of self love acceptance. Acceptance. Because everybody's important, everybody matters, and everybody is worthy of loving themselves. We owe it to ourselves to love ourselves. And once you do that, guess what? Everything starts falling into place. Everything. You start setting your boundaries. You start putting you first. You start saying no. And guess what? You go around, turns upside down. And you start feeling better about yourself. And empowered. And in control. Yeah, my jowls. <laughs> yeah, like a hound on you ain't another mother hound dog. Yeah, my hand will cheeks. They shake too, but this is really bad. <laughs> Um, but that's that's what you guys got to do. Um, and I'm trying hard because I'm very, very hard on myself. Um, I'm my worst enemy. We all are. Um, and cussing is fucking necessary. Because that's how you get through these fucking days of hell sometimes. <laughs> Without our white powder bag at the White House. Shit. Um, I'm not 50. I'm 49 almost. My time's ticking. I'm getting closer to 50 every day. Um, and you know what? That's okay. You know, people like to say, oh, you look old. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I mean, it's not going to stop. Everybody's getting old. Every day we wake up, it's another part of our aging process. So, you know, it is what it is. But this is what you guys need to do. Change this. Change this. Look at yourself for what you provide to people. Beauty skin deep. It's here what matters. Because I can tell you something, when your heart's pure and when your heart's sweet, you look beautiful. It changes your look on the outside. Doesn't it? Because you can be a beautiful person on the outside, but ugly on the inside. And guess what? That takes away your beauty. It takes away your beauty. Um, and that's, that's just it. And, and it's something, you know, it's something to do. It's something to realize. And it's not easy to convince yourselves because we're, our, we've been, we've abused ourselves for these, I've abused myself for the last 49 years mentally. We all have. We have mentally abused ourselves and some of us continue to do it. I do. Every day I look at my stomach and I'm like, ugh, the hell, what are you doing? Why are you still here? <laughs> Why? Can these get any deeper? I mean, what the hell is happening to me? Why? Why? Why is my hair thin? Why can't I be thinner? Why do I have cellulite in my ass? Why? Or am I getting spider veins all over my legs? What the fuck? <laughs> Shit. Come on, what's gonna happen tomorrow? What kind of growth am I gonna have? Look, I have a wart on my elbow. Where did that come from? It's part of the aging process. I got growth on my face. My nose has gotten bigger. My nostrils, well, they've always been big. My hair and my mustache, my upper lip is getting thicker. I don't know what to do with myself. Good night, Danielle. <laughs> I've got three chin hairs now instead of one. Three! I was in the rear view mirror the other day in my car. I was like, what the hell is that? The three? Where'd those fuckers come from? <laughs> Shit. Everything's sagging. Everything's shaking. Whatever. Do I like it? No. <laughs> but it is what it is. <laughs> I know. Well, 
I will probably once my skin stops eating it up. <laughs> I don't know. Or get one of those thread things, you know, and they pull your skin back. Look at all that extra skin. What happens with that? What, what, where does this come from? <laughs> I, I, sometimes you feel like you're going to like this. We know what we're doing, you know, then like, what are they doing? Checking for chin hairs. Because that's just like tarantula legs. They come out out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> 33. Well, don't, are we counting the upper lip hair? <laughs> Shit. And they come like right here, you know? They're all fuzz right here, and then here you got some more like hairs that come out, and you're like, what the fuck? Nobody told me I have a stick. Oh, my nose hair, you know, one Aaron nose hair that's flipping in the wind. You're like, I feel a tickle. What the hell is that? And you're like, ah! I mean, I talk to people like that. What the hell is my problem? Y'all, never look at yourself in the mirror while driving. That is horrible. Shit shows up. You're like, that wasn't there yesterday, or was it? Was it there? Yeah, what's this? Uh, me too, the neck. Like the neck just happened over. What is this? Look at that. I remember pulling on my mom's neck and her arms and going, Ma, what is happening? What is this? It's like foreskin. Pretty soon I'm going to be able to roll it up and cover my face up with it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's like her new foreskin. <laughs> Never mind. I'm hiding. Mm -hmm. Has anybody heard that? Shit, I just made up something funny. What's our foreskin, bitches? Just remember that. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll be able to hide. Where's Danielle? I don't know. I haven't seen her. <laughs> Anywho, I know, and I'm starting to get that skin, you know, it gets like that old skin. I mean, my mom, yeah. But too much sun. But hey, if we're skin, <laughs> we don't need turtlenecks. Shit, we get cold. You know, we ski, we just pull up our foreskin. Roll it up. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that was a new one. I, sometimes I surprise myself. I'm like, damn, that was funny. <laughs> This is not turkey neck, it's foreskin neck. Pretty soon we can hide. Sit here. Who's that? I don't know. Somebody with a high turtleneck. <laughs> I don't know. Will my hound cheeks fit in my turtle with my foreskin? I don't know. So we, we cut foreskin off of men at the beginning of love and then we gain it at the end. What does that mean? We're badass bitches, that's what it means. We're mothers and fathers. We're men and women. So now we gain foreskin. Strength, power, unity. <laughs> I've lost my mind. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, y'all. Anyway, what the fuck? Cornfield, you know? Mm -mm. My brother, I don't know where it's at. No, put this here. We have to take your pills. I'll put them in the sink. No, I, I know. We need to take your pills. So we're going to leave this. We have to take your pills. Your pills. Oh, my pill. Okay. Give me the So okay. sit down. I'll get you. Let me get some okay. pills. Hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> Jerky neck. People are going to be like, yeah, it's my foreskin. Uh -huh. uh huh. I'm growing my toughness. Uh -huh. Old age and toughness. That's what it is. Thank you, Daniel. I need to my brother. Wednesday. My God, how many have I had? Five. How come? Cholesterol. Can I this morning? No. Cholesterol, blood thinner for your heart procedure, more heart medication, and heart. Cholesterol. Dr. Wong prescribed them. I've got five of them. Every night, five. Every night, five? Mm -hmm. Wow. Crazy. Do you want a cookie? Yeah, please. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to help my brother. 
Um, anyhow, I probably shouldn't have showed him taking his pills. I didn't realize it was all on him, so um, I'm sorry about that. No, Dan never came out. <laughs> I don't think he's even watching. <laughs> Oopsie. Sorry about that. Normally, I don't. Yeah, you get a cookie now. Yay. Um, seems like he's always in a mood. He hasn't been on the last three. He hasn't been on for over a week. Um, favorite movies. I like all the um, rom-coms. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I see Carol. Because he's on uh, menstruation. He's on his menstruation. Hey, Mary. What's going on? Kwane, has anybody seen Kwane or talked to Kwane on YouTube? I know we missed her and we just want to make sure she's okay. I don't know if anybody chats with her. Um, aside from that, where's Dan to help you with grandpa? Good question, Lisa. Good question. I'm doing a live, I'm micro tasking. Um, I do it all. No, he's not mad at you. Dan can't make it to the crib. Uh, he can't or he can. Dan is. I don't take collagen. Collagen upsets my stomach. And when you drink it, it doesn't know where to go. <laughs> it doesn't, it's like, oh, she needs some in her face. She needs some in her thighs and her ass. That isn't, it's, you know, patronizing, condescending. Oh, okay, freedom. Who's patronizing and condescending when you're coming on my channel and judging and throwing words out? Um, I'm not social media, though. He's ragging it. Mm -hmm. But I, um, I don't know, David. Why is anybody in a bad mood? You know, it's just a buildup of stress or, I don't know, not getting your way. I don't know. What, what, why do we get mad? Why do we get pissy? I don't know. You're welcome. So, it is what it is. Right. Um, where's Ed? Right there. Eating his cookie. Uh, bad moods are normal. People have influxes. Do I have my brother Bill's telephone number? Nope. I don't either. Thanks, Rose. Anyhow, um, yeah, I don't take collagen. It hurts my belly, and it really doesn't know where to go, <laughs> you know, um, unless you inject it in the area. It's like, why? Well, it doesn't know where to go, so why take it? I don't know. It made me poop. Um, I don't know. Is he in his room? Yes. Yeah, uh, I don't think it'd be coming down yeah, here. I don't stamp know. The cup. It fits in. Look, it's nice because it fits in your cup holder. I like it just because I like the handle and I like to be able to. I don't know. Anyhow, love you guys. I gotta go deal with Grandpa um, and at Bill because we're gonna have to get going on telling the uh, the real story. And I'm not dealing ready to deal with any more trolls on here tonight. But it's been nice, actually. Not so bad. So, you guys, thanks for the good night. Um, Y'all are... Um... Oh, look at Freedom. Hold on. This is a good one. Cold, harsh, and uncaring. You think you have ability for fame. Do we have Bill's phone number, um, Danielle? Freedom, that's really funny. I'm All cold right. and harsh and uncaring. But who's on my channel? Cussing me out. Judging me. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Oh, and freedom. What the hell is this going on? Um, I'm already famous. Bye. My job. What's that, Kanye? I hate Kanye, but bitch, I'm famous. Yeah. Um. Danielle, do you have Bill's phone number? I'm already famous. Ed kept my hand um, and allowed me to come here, but I'm famous on my own. <laughs> bruh, get with it. Fact check before you come on here, bruh. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Adios, freedom. My freedom is to boot your ass out of here. Oh, freedom, take a hike off my channel. I give you some freedom to harass somebody else. Bye, freedom. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> Daniel, do you have Bill's phone number? I gotta go. I got the Bill shit. Um, anyhow, 
I gave him the freedom to leave. I forced him out, out of here, and off the cliff. Bye, freedom. Um, anyhow, see you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday, bitch. Okay, I gotta go. Um, I don't have to be nice. Tina, you know, girl, I don't have to be nice to anybody. I don't want to. Um, I gotta deal with Ed and Bill and, you know, uh-uh, don't want that. Love y'all. Um, I'll see you tomorrow morning. 8.30 PST, not PTSD. I have PTSD, but, um, yeah, you know, 8.30 tomorrow morning while I'm running, getting you guys up and motivated and we'll do some mental talks. Think about questions you want to ask. Think about those things, and maybe Dan will be in a better mood. I don't know. Um, anyhow, good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And remember, you are important. You are worthy. You matter. You're fucking amazing. You're beautiful, and you're handsome. And own that shit. Own everything you are, your whole body, your whole person. Good night. Sleep tight. And believe it. Think it. You guys matter. Love you. You have Bill's phone number, Danielle. I want to get a hold of him. I don't remember his number.